responsibility of trying to walk back uh, Mark Zuckerberg's comments as far as speech regulation goes in the U.S. because of the same reasons that we discussed earlier. Simply, the U.S. cannot regulate content on the Internet in the way that other, company, other countries can because of our First Amendment. So let's talk a little bit about that, because you listed off other countries like the U.K. and Australia. I mean, these are countries that protect speech. These are countries where free speech is um, is a value that is important to them. But they still man. They don't have a U.S. constitution, but they still, you know, allow people to, to, to express themselves. And they've managed to hammer out some sort of stricter list of laws. So could the U.S. possibly use some of these other countries and what they've done as a framework and then kind of like... Americanize it? Yes, there's a there's a huge, a vast gray area between absolute right of free speech. Of course, you can't post anything illegal online, um, but absolute free speech rights as well. At, but regulating speech in a way that can at least prevent or slow down, for example, the spread of terrorist content, the spread of, of harmful content, bullying or harassment online. There's lots of gray area. And as of now, the Internet companies are self-regulating. They are in the U.S. They are trying to figure out on their own 